Hello, in this video we'll take a look at the new pooling feature for Simple Traffic System. There's a new demo scene included called Demo Pooling. This is pretty much a duplicate of the original demo scene with a few small configuration changes. I'll go through those settings in this video so you can set up traffic pooling for your own project. The first change you might notice is on the AI Traffic Controller, Use Pooling is enabled and the camera transform is assigned to the center point. Traffic pooling will be performed around the center point. There's also an AI traffic pool scriptable object. Here the traffic prefabs are assigned. You can set the density, spawn rate, and adjust the zone sizes. You can turn on or off the debug gizmo visualization. The last change in this scene, which you might already notice, is all of the blue boxes. These are the spawn points. Here if I select Tools, Simple Traffic System, Spawn Point window, I can dock this and press the Load Routes button. Now I have a S button above each of the waypoints on each of the routes. I also have an Align Route Waypoints button. You're likely going to want to press this to make sure that each of the waypoints on the routes are facing the next waypoint. This will ensure that when you press the S button to spawn the AI traffic spawn point, it's properly aligned with the waypoint. Once you've set up your spawn points, you could unload the routes and close the window. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the visualization while the simulation is running. Notice the blue boxes have disappeared. The blue boxes use the mesh renderer on became visible and on became invisible callbacks to determine if they're actually visible by the camera. They're still in the scene, but they have a transparent material which makes them essentially invisible, but the camera can still see them and knows that they're there. They also have a box collider attached, and that box collider is set to be a trigger. So if the mesh is visible to the camera and the trigger is triggered, no cars are allowed to spawn in that spawn point. That's the basics of the logic that's used. Let's take a look at the scene view so we could visualize what's happening with the spawn points. If we take a look at this outer zone, we'll notice that once the cars exit that zone, they're despawned and returned to the traffic pool. That way they could be respawned inside of the traffic pool zones. That's the basics for getting the traffic pooling system up and running. If you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for your time. Bye.